Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing another what sold video. This one is going to be for last week Monday through Thursday which is September 25th through 28th. Um, it was really really good four days. I had like one average day um, and then the other three days were way much better. So um, I'm I'm hoping that this is trending towards us having a really good fourth quarter and fingers crossed right that there's no issues as far as things that can interfere in our sales like things that eBay tends to do at times um, all I can do is encourage you guys to keep doing what you can do the things that you can control list as regularly as you can uh, end and sell similar. I'm going to do a video on how I do my end and sell similars um, just to, you know, help anybody who's a little, um, I guess, concerned on how to do it. Um, and, you know, then let's see, end and sell similar. Oh, send offers. Y'all, I get a lot of sales from sending offers or at least gets the communication going. And I always have a sale running. I do Monday through Thursday, 10%, just because there's that, you know, there's there's a cutoff. You don't want to run a sale for a whole month or just forever. You know, there's that, it's going to end on Thursday and somebody might think, oh, you know, I need to go ahead and buy it while it's on sale. And then I start again on Friday through Sunday. I used to do different amounts, you know, I might do 8%, I might do 10, I might do 12, I might do 15. I just pretty much have been sticking to 10%. And as far as sending offers, if this stuff has been listed before this year, which I've been really focused on moving some of my older inventory, I've been sending out offers probably an additional 20% off. So 30% off of my original listed price, just trying to get stuff moving. You know, I, I used to be that type of um, reseller that was listed and forget it. I can't anymore. I'm, I'm going to start bursting at the seams if I don't get stuff moving. We're getting ready to go on a trip to fill a trailer full of more stuff. So I've got to start you know, rapidly moving stuff as quickly as I can. And whatnot's going to help with some of that. We did a sale yesterday. Um, I think we sold 64 items. And that's Robert's. You can't see them, but they're right over there. They're all ready to go. Um, so I, I'm enjoying that. It's it's just a different community that on there. Lots of support. Lots of just nice, encouraging comments. Um but we're going to be off for the next two weekends, just focusing on, you know, sourcing, vacation, and spending time with family. So, let's get this going. Hopefully no more technical difficulties, y'all. This week I had sales on Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay. Y'all, I actually made a really, really, really good sale on Etsy. Um, I didn't have very many listings there, so I, I took it as a sign to go ahead and start renewing a lot of my expired and also put on some of my um, vintage toys um, that I hadn't listed on there yet. So I think I'm going to just spend some time getting a whole bunch cross-listed on there, but I'm not going to let it automatically renew. I will reassess this at the end of January when all of those listings expire again. But I thought since I made a sale on there, hopefully that's a good sign that, you know, I can get, you know, some of the real, I, I mostly list a lot of my high dollar stuff on there. So when I make a sale, it's usually a significant sale for me. So... That's, that's the plan. All right, so on Mercari, this first item was a My Banky. That is the brand um, plush. They're really cute. They come in two sizes. This is the 24 inch long one. And then there's one that's actually even longer. Um, the problem with this one was when I bought it, I didn't realize it was personalized with the name Jensen, which makes it really, really difficult to sell. Um, so I got an offer on Mercari for $6, which I accepted. Gotta pay attention 
especially on the lovies that they've not been personalized. Um, this is a Walmart pink pig plush sold for offer of $8. And then another one, Cuddle Me Toys cat plush sold for $9. All of these were offers because, y'all, I, I, I broke my phone and I had to get a new phone and all of a sudden, all of the cha-chings are working. So I was able to start hearing when I got likes on Mercari. And then I would go in and send offers. And it's it's culminating in more sales. Do I keep up with it as much as I should? No. But it it you can tell, you know, when you do it, it might actually, you know, help get more sales. So I need to go in at least daily and try to send as many offers as I possibly can. Um, to see if it'll make their algorithm happy and hopefully get more sales on there also. All right, Poshmark. Um, this is a little plush, six inch with a jingle bell. I put anything and all things on there. Um, this sold for $12. Easy to pack. All you have to do is throw it in a bubble, um, padded envelope, priority padded envelope, and send it on its way. Just Black Women's Jeans. That's the brand. Just Black. Um, sold for $15. And then these next six was a bundle offer. I received uh, like a $102 offer on six items. I want to say it was $10 or $12 less than the actual price. I could be wrong. My memory. Maybe not. But I thought $102 for six clothing items. The problem with it was is I didn't pay attention to what the weight was going to be. And it ended up being over five pounds. So I did end up having to pay like an extra $9 to upgrade the package to seven pounds. And I think I haven't, I've never had a large bundle like this. Um, but I think I could have maybe partially unbundled. I don't know how it all works. It was $9.00. You know, I probably would have accepted offers that would have been $9 less, so it, it's fine. But I sold this Capcom Street Fighters t-shirt, Nautica Men's Long Sleeve shirt, Schmidt Workwear shirt, Seven for All Mankind jeans, Gap Men's jeans, and this Jersey Shut Up and Dance sweatshirt, all for $102. And now eBay. eBay was very busy and very good to me this week. Um, first is, these are those ceramic fish with the bubbles. I bought five flats, like cardboard box flats, full of either ceramic or the chalkware vintage wall hangings. I've gone through two of the boxes. The three are still sitting out in the building for me to get to. I paid $5 for one box, $7.50 for another box, and then $10 for the each for the three that are still out in the building. They're packed, packed with stuff. I think this is the third um, lot that has sold from there, um, but these fish and bubbles sold for $25. Lego Duplo blocks. It did include a Mickey, a Donald Duck, and a Minnie Mouse figure. They sold for $32. Connects. Plastic Tinker Toys. These are the preschool version. This is not the wooden ones. Um, I had 160 plus pieces and they sold for $31.45. I tend to pick these up when I'm at the bins, when they're just loose in the bins, or I'll buy them at like yard sales and stuff. A lot of times they come in these big plastic containers. I don't normally keep them in that. I end up just discarding them. Um, it's just too bulky, too much weight um, to um, keep them like that. 101 Dalmatians Oddball Dog Plush. He was 21 inches long, sold for $21. Morona, this was a listing, an old listing. So when I got an offer for $8, I went ahead and accepted it. I'm being very pushy. That's, that's probably not a good word, but 
I'm sending offers that are probably 30% at least off of my original listings when it is the stuff that has been listed before this year. Um, I just, I really need this stuff to be moving. You know, I used to be that listed and forget it person, but we've grown so much. We've changed our uh, business plan as far as, you know, we go do these large sourcing trips. We buy large lots of things and I can't just have stuff sitting waiting for that right buyer. So anytime I can send an offer or I receive an offer, you know, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to go ahead and get this stuff moving. It's all still at a profit because y'all know me. I'm very frugal. I don't spend a whole lot of stuff money on stuff. So even at $8, we probably only paid a dollar for this. So it's gone. Um, get that money recouped and move on, right? Y'all, it sold. It sold very quickly. This is a Trader Joe's red hibiscus grocery bag. Robert picked this up at a yard sale or an estate sale for a quarter. A quarter. You know, I thought we'd probably get, you know, I've, I've sold them before. I know that you can sell them. I thought we'd get like 10 or 12, but I saw sold comps for 25. So I listed mine up knowing that it's going to go on a 10% sale and it sold very quickly for my sale price of $25.16. Kids Preferred, my first doll, 12 inch from 2010, sold for $11.66. Hasbro Purple Phone, it went to a nursery center. I think it was like a bed and maybe a wash, like a sink and stuff. It's from 1998. I've picked this phone up a couple of times, so I knew what it was when I picked it up. Um, it sold for $22.45. Tupperware Halloween Bucket. I think I, it was a bad buy because I didn't realize that they were actually Halloween buckets when I picked them up. I just thought they were like storage containers. And they were Halloween, and I thought, but they're missing the handle. So they didn't sell last year. They've been listed since last year. And, but all of a sudden I've sold both of them this week. I sold this one for $9 and I think I went ahead and put it in the tab somewhere through here. I think the other one sold for the $12 and seven cents. But yeah, I didn't realize that they needed handles. Coleco, which is Vintage Cabbage Patch Kids. This is the doll dress. It had issues. Um, the white lace was very discolored. The elastic was out. Um, so I went ahead and accepted a $12 offer, but it's $12 for one little outfit. No shoes, no socks. Aurora and Nanco River Otter Plush. I decided just to go ahead and put the three of them together and they sold for $12. Madam Alexander dolls. I went to an estate sale on the last day and most of the dolls and plush were a dollar each. They did have a two dollar price on the Madam Alexanders. She saw me buying quite a few of the plush and dolls so that one of the ladies that worked there said, you know, if I bought all of them, which I think there was probably a dozen, um, I'll let you have all of them for twenty dollars. So I went ahead and picked it, picked, picked, picked them up most of them are bread and butter. This particular China doll sold for $11.66. Russ White Dog Plush with the cute little Santa hat. Um, six inches tall sold for $10.45. Gund Oscar the Grouch Plush sold for $8 best offer. I had a friend who was moving and offered um, just a big box of, a lot of it was Bratz doll stuff that had been her daughter's. She didn't want to bring it with her. Her daughter's grown already and she didn't want it. So it sat over there for quite a while because it was just the regular dolls, the little small dolls, the babies, the big babies. And finally, it was one of those days that I was like, you're going to deal with that entire box. And so I sorted everything out. I think a lot of this went with the little, like, toddler dolls. 
um, but I wasn't sure. That's why I put in there. Not sure if they are all for the same size doll. I'm a mom of boys. We didn't do Bratz dolls. I went ahead and accepted an offer of $20 for this lot. Applause Hershey's Kiss Bear Plush from 1987 sold for $8. Tiddlywinks Bear Lovey um, sold for $8.02. Here's the other Tupperware sale. The bucket sold for the $12.07. Fisher Price Sweet Streets Dollhouse Post Office and Mailbox. Now these are smaller than Loving Family. A lot of the houses are probably, you know, the like this one probably not much more than this. And um, the figures are smaller, way smaller than the regular dollhouse figures. Um, but I've done really well when I can find them. I don't find them very often. I think it was a short-lived series. Um, this post office and the mailbox and it was a few things inside of it sold for $13.45. Licks Taffy Dog Plush. It was 35 inches long and it made lots of crinkling noises and stuff like that. Sold for $8. Agner Loafers Blue sold for $13.45. I'm thinking we may have picked them up at the same place as this one, that um, estate sale, my favorite little estate sale company um, with the high-end clothes that we purchased here recently. Um, these Dexters um, sold for $14. I think a lot of these sh the shoes on the first couple of days that we went were um, $2. And then I went back one more time on half price day. But I don't think I bought any more shoes. Abeka, this is from the tote of homeschool curriculum that Robert picked up recently at a, a yard sale. He paid $40. There were tons in a large tote filled to the rim. This is the first set. These are four of Our American Heritage books sold for $29.95. Dickies Men's Shorts sold for $15.01. Ertle Jibber Jabber. I think this came from the yard sale that we went to, there was tons of vintage. That's where I got my um, Play School Snuzzle Elephant. And I started looking through it and Robert asked her how much if we bought it all. She started counting all of the plush. So I waited for her to tell me how much and it ended up she charged me $1 each for everything that I purchased that day. It was so, so many wonderful plush. Kelly Toy Rabbit Plush. Um, I picked up four of these somewhere, but I think I had like two green ones. So I decided to do two lots of two and this set of the orange and green sold for $20. All right, this is Little Tyke's um, Pretend Food. This set of three, I took an offer of $12 for them. Moulin Rody Storybook Lamp. I picked this up at that churchyard sale where, I, again, I bought tons of vintage stuff. Everything there, I think, that day was a dollar, and this sold for $12. When I opened this up, the inside was still sealed, so it had never even been used. House of Hatton Christmas Stocking. Um, I washed this to see it had a lot of discoloration. Definitely, if you're washing toys, especially with anything with red in it, make sure you use color catchers because it's, these types of stuff will tend to bleed onto all your other stuff. Believe me, I have ruined entire loads of stuff because I didn't know about color catchers at some point. And so I went ahead and put read on here because it didn't come all the way clean. And that's just my way of telling people, please read the description and look at the pictures. But I took an offer of $9 for the stocking. I think this also came from that same yard sale. It is a Nintendo Pokemon Butterfree plush from 1998, sold for $17.95. Play School Weebles Princess and a Horse figure from 2005, sold for $11.66. This is a Tommy Bananas in Pajamas. 
singling, no, singing, plush. Didn't even have time to fix it. It sold the same day I listed it for $29.95. Pixel Chicks, this is from the same lot where I bought the um, Littlest Pet Shop Dogs and Cats and the Little Compacts. This is a Pixel Chicks, definitely something you need to keep your eyes out for. This one sold for $53.95. Gund Toothpick Tan Bear Plush sold for a best offer of $10. Play School Pretend Play like Buttons and Thread Toy. Can't remember where I picked this up at. Probably a yard sale. Probably paid a dollar or so for it. Sold for $11.66. Tokheim Texaco Fire Chief Gas Pump. I think Robert picked this up at a yard sale. And funny thing is, is it sat behind this monitor for the longest time. And finally, one day I went and swooped up everything that was sitting over here to get them listed. And this was one of them. This guy was persistent that he was only going to pay $16.18. You know, I probably could have waited because it hadn't been listed very long. But I thought, just let it go. Just let it go. Sold for $16.18. This is from the, what was that place called now? I'm getting down to not very many things left from that haul. It was Finders Keepers. It was one of those pallet stores where, you know, Saturday everything's $7. Sunday it's a certain amount till you get to the last day and it's a dollar. We went on the first dollar day they'd ever had and filled up two grocery carts tons and tons of stuff a lot of jigsaw puzzles that I paid a dollar each for and this is one of them so I decided I was going to be sending like 30% off offers for my original price and it sold for eight dollars Little Tykes Roaring Lion I don't think I've had that listed very long that seems like it was recent that I picked it up I do have a video showing that it works and makes it sounds sold for $13.45 I wanted to thank Shagan for his purchase. I met him at FlipCon, and I'm, I think this is his YouTube channel, the I'm a Resell It. So go ahead and go check him out also. He bought these three items from me, Five Nights at Freddy's, Chica, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Ace Duck, and a Christmas duck ornament, and spent $33.12. So I really do appreciate it. Telesonic Optical tel Fiber Optic Flowers, and it was a music box. I picked this up at my favorite little estate sale company. I want to say I paid 2 or $3 for it. Sold very quickly for $22.45. Wooly Worms. I don't know. Are they all over the United States? I don't know. I would never heard of them until I moved to this area, but... According to the woolly worms and folklore, we're going to have a really, really wet, cold winter around here because they're like solid black. But this is a coffee mug from the Wooly Worm Festival in Banner Elk, North Carolina, and it sold for $11. I just picked this up at a yard sale or an estate sale recently. Um, it was a vintage round sewing kit with all the spools and notions and everything. It was 12 inches. I decided to just sell it with everything as it is, except I think I took out like a candy bar wrapper or something that was tucked down inside there. Um, but I just thought it was just full of interesting things. So I just left it as is, sold it for $22.50. I got a message from this buyer. Um, just wanting to confirm that I would go ahead and do combined shipping, which I do always. Um, but she was wanting to finish out a set that of these dishes that she had started when she was in her teens. Um, so she wanted these two coffee cups, a bowl, and a saucer, which she made me very, very fair offers. And I sent her a combined invoice, and she paid $26 for the four items. Fisher-Price Roly-Poly Chime Ball. I 
don't remember where I got this one from. I don't know. But I know I ended up getting a second one. I'm wondering, did a viewer send me one of them? I think a viewer sent me that. And I really apologize that I can't remember who. But I think somebody sent me this one, and it was nicer than mine. So I went ahead and listed mine, and it sold very quickly for $8.96. This is from the... Private pick estate sale that Robert and I went to where I bought all of that amazing, amazing vintage plush. But I did pick up some stuff that wasn't plush. This is a Woolworth Christmas flocked Santa ornament sold for $10. Clark's black women's shoes sold for $16. We pick up lots of Clark's, lots. We usually pay a dollar or two, maybe three, depending on condition and the style sell them consistently. This set sold for $16. More Little People. This is a pilot and a train conductor. I try to slow down sometimes and put these six digit codes on there. You can find them on the bottom of Little People. A lot of times it tells you exactly which set it goes to. And if somebody's looking for a particular piece to replace a set that they already have. It just helps. I don't do it all the time, but when I'm taking my time, I will. These two sold for $7. Brown Bear Plush. There was no manufacturer on the tag, tag, so it's just one of those things. Try to use as many keywords you, as you can. This one had a maroon bow tie on it. This buyer found it, so sold for $10. Robert picked two of these up. They are Winston, the fridge freezable can coolers. Um, paid a dollar each. They're from 1991 and they both sold this week. The first one sold for $22.45 and then the second one I took an offer I think of $19. But definitely these older Winston I guess stuff sells well because it hadn't been listed very long. This next person did a bundle order. They brought, bought this red crab plush pillow for $20.17 and then also bought this petting zoo red crab. They didn't wait for me to send an invoice, so I always send refunds on the difference in shipping. All right, some more of the Abeka books from that $40 tote Robert picked up. These are the reading books for the second grade level. A through J sold for instantly $49.95. Next item, I went to a yard sale and bought like a, she had a table full of Peppa Pig. And I think I ended up spending maybe $25, but it was several of the houses and vehicles and carrying cases and tons of figures. Um, this is just a house with the furniture, no figures, and it sold for $26.95. This is Mighty Star Donnelly the Dolphin um, from 1997, sold for $13.92. Black Cat Votive Candle Holder, sold for $15. Fancy Nancy Frenchy Dog Plush from Jack's Pacific, sold for $8.06. McDonald's Coffee Cup mug um, sold for $20.17 and it was also an international buyer. I think Robert bought this. This and several of the like Better Homes and Gardens cookbooks. I want to say probably paid two bucks each. This is the Del Monte Kitchen sold for $12. Transformers. Um, I picked up, I want to say four or five of these for a dollar each at a yard sale. This one sold for $13.45. Pink Duck Plush 12 inch with the bonnet. The tag was in German, but I couldn't read any manufacturer or anything. Sold for $13.17. Alright, another White Mountain Puzzle. This is one of the scenes 
Robert and I like to do them, but a lot of them are like the 70s and TV stuff and just candy, all kinds of stuff like that. I prefer those, but this one was fun and different. It sold for $17.95. And last but not least, Disney Chippendale Pirate Plush sold for $8. All right, y'all. It's lunchtime. I'm ready to eat, and then I'm going to get down here and start processing stuff. I think we will be driving probably when this video goes out. So we'll be on our way on our vacation when this video is released. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, but you guys got to stay working while I'm on vacation, right? Get to work. Bye.